We just made this leaning bathroom ladder shelf and we'll show you how we did it right, right now. now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it yourself? <laughs> You should totally subscribe to this channel because uh, that's what we do. It oh, is. hit the bell to be notified because we do one of these things every week. Okay, this week we're building a bathroom ladder shelf rack that goes over the toilet for extra storage. Who doesn't need extra storage in the bathroom? For like toilet papers, no, enemas. Not putting toilet paper on it. Oh. <laughs> that will be hidden. This will be for decorative things. Maybe some extra hand towels, stuff like that. Potpourri. Yes, potpourri. <laughs> Step one, make all your cuts. Cut your wood. We've already made our cuts. We had a one by six, cut at 24 inches, a one by eight, cut at 24 inches, and a one by 10, cut at? 24 inches. 24 inches. <laughs> We got a bunch of one by threes, three of them. They're all cut at? 24 inches. 24 inches. Then we cut two one by threes to six and a quarter, two at eight, and then two at, oh, I ran out of hands. <laughs> 10. <laughs> I should have been ready. Step two, we're gonna put together the shelves. Let's start with the smallest one first. All right, we're using these plans from Ryobi Nation. These are plans from Ryobi's website by Anna White. Ooh, collab. Collab. We'll put the link down below. All right, I'm trying to go easy on the glue. Yes, we want to stain it. You don't want that glue spooging out. You've got glue on your arm. Previous project. <laughs> Remnants. All right, so lay, yeah, lay it down. Do, 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 do. Oh, using a one and a quarter inch brad, not the guy, just the nail. <laughs> we all know brads better than a quarter inch. We all know Garrett likes to go glue heavy. One coat, one coat kind of guy. Yeah, one coat Garrett. There you go. All right, drawer number one, that was easy. Shelf number one. Shelf number one. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> And now the 10 inch. It's all the same. Perfect. <laughs> Step three make yourself some legs. We use some beautiful two by threes for <laughs> our long legs. And we put a 10 degree cut in the back and a 10 degree cut on the bottom. So it lays nicely against the wall. But we'll put those Ryobi instructions down below. They have better details. Step four. We use the shelf to see how far apart our legs will be. And then we pinned them together with a board so that we can work on them and know that it's 24 inches. Next, we took some scrap wood and we measured up 37 inches on both legs and put a piece of scrap wood on there because now we're gonna attach the shelves. <laughs> we're gonna use a one and five eighth inch screw to attach these to the legs all the way up. I'm gonna give two pilot holes on each side. Step five, 
All we have to do now is stain it. And then put it somewhere nice. It goes to one place. In oh. the bathroom. Over the put toilet. Put it over the... Not putting toilet paper on it. All right, looks great. Good job, babe, yet again.